So I use my laptop because I forgot to take that way. Let's down, man. Okay. And it's this thing. So I'm just. Oh, man. Do you not have a full set of dice? Because I have like a fishbowl of dice at home. So if you want a dice, I can bring some. Yeah, okay. So how about I just bring a, a few sets? Because they're all random stuff. And you can look through next time. Alright. Apparently, the other two guys don't like my set of dice. I believe the words he used, it fills you with bile. Counts <laughs> his words. No, I just fine. can't stand seeing players having the board of dice. Especially for me. Yeah, to be fair, is my comment is more of a joke. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, man, just being a bunch of dirty dice touchers. That's what I like. Dice what? Touchers. Mm. You know, touch other it's, it, it's, it's, a, it's a fact that this particular game and tabletop game in general that everyone has weird feelings about dice. Mm. He hates seeing people borrow dice. He hates seeing people touch other people's dice. I dislike using dice that are not matched in color. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he, I think, has a similar thing. No, it's a, it's a factor of like... Uh, Essentially, if any, if any one of these goes missing, the entire set is useless. <laughs> wow! I'm not quite that insane. <laughs> No, I'll if, still use it. Although, although I'll, I'll I will say that if one dice. of these dice goes missing, I will stop using the set. <laughs> <laughs> I will just throw it in the jar of mismatched dice I have. Yeah, also known as the jar of shame. <laughs> <laughs> Can you give me a quick rundown of what happened last time? Uh, yeah, I didn't have time to edit the episode. No worries, last week, so. Mm -hmm. When last we met, uh, you guys had completed the task of investigating the warrens underneath the city, had located the strange skeletal dragon Nola, as Hazel had made some perhaps poor decisions in that department. <laughs> and was repeatedly punished for it. <laughs> oh, he hasn't even begun to start being punished for that. You headed, uh, started to make your way back toward the entrance of the complex. Uh, on the way, Morrigan noticed that the remaining mage from the Sky Pillar, the one that was still alive, was acting kind of odd. He was behaving sort of zonked out, like he was tired, like he was drunk or had a concussion when he was doing his spell casting to help get you out of there. Eventually, you managed to make your way back to the main room where you guys decided to take an extended rest. Uh, during the night, a long and astoundingly silly discussion of how to best tie up Azazel occurred. Uh, many suggestions pertaining to attaching him on one foot with one leg to one wall and one arm to another. Like, you guys were nuts with this. <laughs> I was trying to be practical, at least. It, you were okay. It was more this part of the table, right here. <laughs> the red group shape part. Hogtie is what he's saying. No, no. Azazel knows. Hogtie cinch into the roof. <laughs> See, it's I a done deal. That, but for some reason, they didn't go for that. They were insisted on suspending you. <laughs> Actually, when uh, we've done this, the, we did the hog tie thing well, and cinching over something. The basic over problem. Lava. The basic problem, though, is if you're trying to tie up you, they want you to be secure. But at the same time, if you're tied up in a way where you can't rest, you don't get an extended rest. So there's a trade-off you have to work with. Put me in a hammock while I do it. Uh, eventually, what they did was they uh, tied your hands and fingers together. So that you couldn't yeah. like move your fingers and cast spells. Uh, tied okay. your feet together and had you play like, against the wall. Not and how my magic works? Doesn't matter. It prevents you from using your hands. Yeah. Okay. Thing. And then shit got weird. Uh, I believe at that point the other thing they did was they took the two immovable rods they found and they braced them against either side of your neck, like in a V against a wall. Okay. So if you tried to like sit up, it yeah. would just choke you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's fair. <laughs> Which is a decent way of doing that. <laughs> And at one point, you <clears throat> snored. Yes, that was the odd thing. Which I don't normally do. Yeah, yeah, that's what we During the night, yeah. Rangan was keeping watch, and he noticed you were behaving oddly. Specifically, okay. that you had well, fallen asleep. Was it? Okay, yeah, because I was Which transing. is not a thing that drow do. Yeah, so I was trying to sorry. Uh, yeah. At this point, he decided to wake you up by slapping you across the face. Right. <laughs> but that was my fault. I told him to do and, and I woke yeah. up and went, I will eat your soup. No. Not quite. You woke up, I basically voiced you, you were indignant, which I felt was appropriate. Yeah, that's right. Uh, you expressed having seen him about to do it, despite having had your eyes shut and been asleep, mm -hmm. and been able to describe what he was doing prior to that, which was a bit of a puzzler for the party. But you otherwise seemed to be yourself. When you got hit, you started swearing in Elvin. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Also a dark speech. Because <laughs> it's scarier. Do you not have your own language? Uh, uh, it's a in, common language between all elves. It's different yeah. Dialects. In in D and D, okay. they kind of want to restrict the amount of stupid cross not being able to talk to each other problems 
So they basically just said all elves speak elvish. Basically, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Fey, there's fey, and then there's common. Okay. Because common is united all human races, right? And Which is already impressive. Yeah. And then there's <laughs> and there's basically the same idea just with elves. So the drow are like the Irishmen. Yeah. <laughs> I, I would voice all drow as Irish now, but I've already voiced everyone from Haven as Irish, so... <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, upon you being slapped in the face, numerous other members of the Watch Contingent woke up to investigate the strange noise out of some concern. Uh, the Where mage... Where were we resting? Hmm? Where were we resting? In one of the earlier chambers of the room. Okay. Basically, have a red con. basically the second chamber in. Okay, the first one was full so of traps. So we retconned being outside yeah. to find... Basically, yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, several of the watch contingent members woke up to investigate the noise. The mage did not. He basically slept through the entire thing. In the morning, Nina, who you had found in the area with Noloth, was still unconscious. The major, however, started to come around, much to some people's disheartenment. Uh, at that point, I believe, uh, yes, Morgan started trying to talk to the mage. After he woke up, he was behaving slow, kind of robotic. He was displaying very similar symptoms to uh, what you previously saw Alice Gravelstroke, the assassin's sister, way back in the Scarlet Fox Tavern, displaying almost identical symptoms. You then decided to head topside, asking the watch contingent to give you about an hour before coming up after you. Uh, you headed up into the light, at which point you were ambushed by Billy and a group of his drug addict friends. Mm -hmm. uh, you were immediately shot and fell down and rolled down the uh, hill into the pit again. <laughs> <Sounds about right. laughs> Uh, after much distracted by weird voices in my head that I'm not normally there. No. <laughs> yes, weird voices. You don't know. If you want to make up weird voices in your head, that's your own business. <laughs> you guys don't know. It's my head. You have a lot of voices in your head. It's I very crowded in there. I have a few. <laughs> up to four now. You should shove an aspect in there that has multiple personalities. Technically true. I mean, a few is three to fifteen. So, I mean, yeah. he's still got quite a ways wiggle room going. Yeah, it's not a lot yet. <laughs> still a few. Anyway, after you dealt with Billy and his little group of drug addict friends... Thanks to my head in the shop. Yeah. Did, did, we, did we rub some Char's hand in his face afterwards? No, he was dead. Yeah, enough in his system. <laughs> uh, he did cough some drugs into Wit's face. He was so, so drugged up, I got hit by someone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what it was yet. The same stuff he was up top on. Basically, you dosed yourself with PCP or murder or any number of other things you want to call that. <laughs> A fine, heady blend of PCP and meth. I have the And then I had the bright idea to give him booze. <laughs> That's your first response to everything, though. <laughs> yeah. Uh, at this point, however, Alice Gravelstroke herself showed up from out of one of the alleys, basically applauding you having murdered Billy quite soundly and his thugs. Uh, stated that she had originally come looking for Billy, for him to basically go and find people to do some more work that needed doing. And she decided that since she just killed Billy, she may as well just give it to you. <laughs> I thought Gravelstroke was against the Red Cloaks, at least Alice, or generally speaking, the Gravelstroke. Alice right? Gravelstroke was the one you saw in the Scarlet Fox who was behaving like she was mind controlled. Yeah. Who was picking up the dead drop from Karis. Oh, okay, so she was still in that mind controlled, right? Yes, okay. indeed. Got Her brother right. is working against the Red Cloaks now. Right, yeah. Uh, she informed you that something she just called the situation in the Hook Isles was going badly, and she wanted you to go and reinforce the gentleman who had been sent there. She was noticeably vague about what kind of work. Uh, she then basically just started wandering away, at which point I believe Morgan started following her and pestering her with questions. Yep. And uh, I think that was actually where we left off, was you were asking her random questions. You can't leave it like that. She asked out, you know, how well you're you controlling the body or something like that. Uh, yeah, I think she did. Yeah, we pretty much finished the conversation with her. Oh, you're not finishing the conversation with you. I can tell her to view that right now. <laughs> you didn't finish that conversation, because <laughs> there's more to it. As she's wandering away, was there anything else you wanted to ask her? I don't even know if my character's in a position to ask coherent questions. It hasn't really kicked in yet. I'm going to assume I'm just going to knock out. Right. Sure. As she is walking away, she abruptly stops, stands stock still for a second. Her eyes sort of do this. And then she just looks uh, at, I'm going to say, you. Oh. And says, have you seen Karos recently? Out of character, have I? No. Not since you saw him making the dead drop with this lady. Although you did receive a vision of him being attacked by this lady's brother. As you sort of stand there pondering, she goes, Do you know who Karos even is? Can I have a description? He, he would 
<laughs> he would not. Uh, she describes him as a specific. He would not. On the short specific. side, yeah. short brown hair, blue eyes, bit twitchy. You would very twitchy. You would have a very vague recollection at best of him because you were not the one directly following him, mm-hmm. nor were you the one who met with him. Hold on, I'm rolling from memory. I don't even think I was there during those sessions. Uh, you were. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, now? you left intelligence right after Zana showed up, or right before. Anna. Yeah. Anna. Uh, like recently. When, when the whole I believe your I believe your last session with us was actually speaking with him. Yeah, and then getting the trade done and then following it. Like, starting to fall. And then uh, yeah, I could take the fall. You do remember Karos, yes. Yeah, I do, yeah, I do remember seeing something like that. How far back are we going here? Quite a way. Um, it's basically back. It's not quite a ways. Well, like less a than a week. week yeah. Because then less it's like, than it's a back, week. It's like it's a back couple of days. The drop. It's back when we made the drop. Yeah. So, it's back when we delivered the package to Karos. Right. It's basically when you lost all Yeah, that. yeah, when we were delivering that package. Do you say that? Is that just what you're saying? Yeah. yeah. Package? I have no idea what uh, any of this is about. Yeah, you would. Okay, can I wake up at this point? Yeah. Okay, it's like, well, climb yeah. my way back out of a hole. Da, da, da. What's going on, Rangor? This is a per. Just to clarify, this is a person that I would know that would know about can the you, orange can package. You just, please explain it to me so that I can just get this done. <laughs> explain the situation to me really quickly so I can just like, okay. Oh, yeah, no, this is this. Please. Because I know exactly what's going on and I can handle it, no problem. <laughs> I am worried that you are able to do that after your last mishap. Tap him in, man. Tap him in. <laughs> I think he's our face. I think technically, even he is on my side of this. <laughs> All right. So he's just, just, uh, you just give me the rundown. Okay. So the drow starts walking forward. I see the drow and go. You ask him. You ask. Yeah. You ask him. It would actually make more sense because I was off. Oh. Oh. So what do you what do you want to know? She looks over and says, "You made a drop to Karos recently." Yeah, it was like a few days ago. Um, the 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 kind of like uh, nervous guy, right? He's really paranoid. Yes, that would be him. Yeah. What were you delivering? Uh, the horn. Hmm. Have you seen him since? No. We hmm. haven't. Unfortunate. Because we made the drop, and we made some effort to ensure he was a red cloak, and that's about it. Hmm. Interesting. Well, if he turns up, tell him to uh, come to the print shop. After that, he just leaves. She starts walking away. Any of you can roll me an insight check. Notice how I didn't say we stopped him to meet her. 23. 23. That would be... I'm not going to bother saying because they chunked me very well. 21. Damn, actually, 24 for me. You too. Even with your somewhat glassed and robotic expression, uh, when he said when we dropped the horn off, there was a very bright glimmer in her eye, and it was not a happy glimmer. It was a, I'm about to stab you, Glimmer, and I'm very carefully restraining myself from doing so. <laughs> and now she's wandering off. <laughs> you think that might not have been the best thing to tell her? You know, there's something we've done in this city several times now to much success. We follow. No, but, yeah, okay, well, yeah, yes, but why would she, no, here's a better, better question. Why would she be mad? She knows that we're the ones who delivered the horn. No, she doesn't. Sorry. That's the whole right. point of a dead drop. Right. <laughs> Whatever. That's why there was an intermediary. <laughs> right. Yeah, I fucked up. <laughs> Did you just screw us again? No. It honestly, it just, it just shows. No, now she knows who we are in terms of we're that gang, so it's improving our notoriety. Good point. There's also the fact that the horn you delivered was fake. We don't know and that. If she knew, we didn't know that it was fake. We didn't know that. <laughs> know that. Oh, you can claim you didn't. Yeah. Yeah. And anger might have been because it's fake. She appears to be wandering off, though. What would you like to do? Sneak. See? Sure. Sneak. And then we jump her! There you go. <laughs> uh, on my stealth, I got a 30... Yes. I know how to do math. 50 plus 15 is 30. Okay. As you're just sort of making your way along, she is heading off in a not particularly interesting direction. This is the best I can put that. You're currently in sort of the south side district. She's walking toward the waterfront, basically. Uh, you know that basically rent gets lower the further sort of toward the waterfront you go as the sort of shore area of Dawnport in this part of the city is actually very sloped. Like as you get way close to the shore, at high tide it actually floods up and the houses are up on stilts. You've actually been in that area before. It's called the Sticks. Right. It appears she's heading in that direction. Okay. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to ask Daniel. What do you want to do? Right, yeah. ask. Uh, you can make me an insight check. Only you. Since everyone's 14, or 15. Alright. There's a couple of points 
as she's going along where she stops for no apparent reason and sort of just waits, almost like she's waiting for you to catch up. I'm just going to wait back for these guys to catch up. Right. And then just like, explain the situation and ask them what they want to do because at this point I'm just going to let them make decisions. <laughs> she wants to be followed. Should we keep it going? She's taking us to a boss. Then we can, then we can punch the boss. We don't know who the... We have to... Well, why does she keep stopping? I mean, no, 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 she does want us to follow her. But I'm saying, we don't know how far this goes. We have all day. <laughs> and in terms of how deep into the organization, and our job is to disband the Red Cloaks. Has that been a problem before? If we start now, it might cause a problem because their bosses might go into hiding. Uh, out of character, are you, are you uh, the med playing tech? like you're on drugs right now? Yeah, my character yeah. got drugs. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he got drugs with basically meth. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to ask you two what you want to do. By the way, our job right now is to disband the gang called the Red Cloaks. Uh -huh. if, you didn't, if we didn't tell you that before, just a general idea. Yes, just give me a moment. Maybe we should wait for him to get off his high. And so just go Does she seem like... Wait, because she seems like she's not controlled, would following her make us... Would openly attacking her make us look good in the Red Cloaks or bad? She is clearly being controlled by a Red Cloak because the Red Cloaks have a history of controlling this family. Confer with spirits. What does the future have in store for us? Future hold in store for you? Hmm. Alright. See, the beauty of this is I know that I can take a minute to think about this because in the recording I can just end out the pause. <laughs> and then I sound really on the ball. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. I'm going to refer to it throughout the entire podcast. So it's just for sure. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm holding you too bad. We'll fix it in post. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm terrible at fixing things in post. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to say the vision you get is of you guys continuing to sort of skulk after this lady. She wanders along down some winding, narrow streets. Uh, she eventually, however, she comes to uh, what looks like a little kid who is wandering around in the streets. He's got like a little candle on a stick, basically, and he's lighting lamps. Uh, she walks over to him, sort of taps him on the shoulder. She just uh, leans down, scribbles something on a piece of paper, hands it to him, and says, off you go, just sort of points at him to go away, and hands him a coin. Is, it, is the direction she pointed towards us? Nope. Okay, good. It is off toward basically the base that, that the Karen went to last time? It would be the northeast. Mm -hmm. So the base that Karen went to. Mm -hmm. Would it be one of the base that Karen went to? Oh, uh, it's in the direction of the trade ward, which is where the Scarlet Fox Tavern was. Okay. But other than that, okay, guys, we find the kid first. But I mean, there's a lot of things in that double direction. to show us what's on the note. <laughs> or you know, just, well, yeah, actually, no, that's probably yeah, the nicest um, way to do it. In well, character, I just want to punch the kid. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna say, we, I was, I was gonna say, we could punch him, but like, nah, we gotta play it nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm well, thinking no, of maybe. But, then, uh, but we're the freaking street surgeons. We should beat the shit out of this kid. <laughs> How yeah, young yeah. is this kid? <laughs> However, I will say at this point, your vision goes a bit in a direction you weren't expecting because it stops following what she's doing and it starts following the kid. Yeah. As he goes off towards the northeast, mm. he heads up to another small sort of teenage us. kid standing on a street corner who appears to be selling newspapers basically. Uh, he hands the note off to that boy and then takes the boy's stack of newspapers from him and starts selling them instead. The kid who was selling them then heads off uh, further toward the north. Uh, at this point you see he goes and boards a, one of the carriages of the city. He hands off the coin that was passed over from the other kid. He hops in. Carriage goes toward the northeast, toward the trade ward. Sort of follows it along the path very quickly. Eventually it comes to what looks like it says Gunderson's Print Shop. It's a fairly run-down looking building. Like, it looks like it's in working order, but it's not been maintained particularly well. The sign has been cleaned, but that's about the only bit of maintenance that's been done at any time recently. Uh, at this point he heads inside and leaning in the window, or against the inside window, sort of looking out you can see a number of people who don't look like print shop employees, they look like thugs. And then the vision ends. I know where we're going. I think, uh, I'm debating whether we should split the party. Witten, and uh, Azaz will go after the woman oh, and... Yeah, uh, yeah, we, first of all, that's smart. Put me with the drug addled guy <laughs> right now. You got a problem with me, boy? No, 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 you gotta put the wizard with the melee fighter on drugs. <laughs> That'll go well. You wanna fight about it? 
That would be smarter than me. Because <laughs> you wouldn't back down or run away. Honestly, I feel like the best option would be if, yeah, put the wizard with him and I stick with Rangram because I disappear and he joins the party with a new aspect. <laughs> How about we don't split the party? The aspect is on the and, <laughs> and, and the best option is right, to not then. split the party because right, what happens when we already know where she's going. We just keep going split the, the party. Mm -hmm. Shit happens. There is also the easy option of the fact that since Morgan's not here this week and won't be next week as far as I know, you could always just say she's following them. Sure. Yeah. Just Deal. pick just pick like who you want to follow basically. Morgan follow the woman. Alright. That's my choice. The woman mm -hmm. always or the woman then the note? We follow the note was the idea. Because okay. if we follow the note, since yeah, we I already know the end point, we don't need to follow the note. Because, because, wait, because wait, clearly wait, the note is pertaining to Wrangler okay. Destiny. Therefore, we use the scroll. We get nearby the note and we try to read it on the scroll. Um, work? You'd have to say your name then. If no, 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 I'm saying that would be your best option yeah, in order to get that to work. Well, that would only work if we know something about what's on the note. No, that's what I'm saying. You say Rangram's name because clearly the note has something to do. Or, okay, you either say Rangram, Street Surgeons, or no, sorry, it's not Rangram, whatever Rangram's um, <laughs> pseudonym is. Dave, I don't know. Yeah, whatever, whatever, whatever it is. I created mine, like, because. Generic was, fake name. And then, like, e e co e any of our pseudonyms or Street Surgeons. Hey, what's your name? Earl Fake Name. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Come from a fake name clan. <laughs> Spear, son of club. It's like, hey, Earl, fake name. I just found out you're using a fake name. His real first name is Sam. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so... My pseudonym is Dr. Heisenberg. <laughs> okay, we, we pose to somebody buying a newspaper. That's, that's my so we get there when the yeah. newspaper trade-off happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The advantage of the vision is you do know where that handoff is happening. So, you so yeah, let's, just, let's do yeah. that. That's a good idea. I got it. Let's do this. And we take them to the printers. Alright. So you head your way over to where uh, you know the kid selling papers is going to be. And indeed he is there. He's hawking them, waving them around. It says the Donport Gazette on the front of it. X3, X3, read all about it. <laughs> Undead plank the city. <laughs> Jack the Ripper. all these money is our beds. <laughs> oh no, is this the kid from Newsies, Christian Bale? <laughs> Jack the Shaver strikes again. He doesn't kill you, he just does a really shit job. <laughs> <laughs> I'd um, avoid the place, really. <laughs> Jack's barber's <a> terrible guy. <laughs> um, can we go hide off in a dark corner of the alley? Uh, he's sort of standing on a street corner, in a sort of open area. Like, I mean, he's selling papers, he wants to be in a public Yeah, place. so we're, we're just going to stand on, a, on like a road, like not facing him directly, mm -hmm. but where we can see him, yeah. and we're just going to lean up against the wall. Yeah, loiter, and then there's actually a number of people loitering around the plaza. And then so. I'm gonna, but there's not a lot to do. <laughs> I'm just gonna smoke, smoke up before I buy it, and then pull. Up. You should pull it out now. No, just no. double check that there's nothing in the area that would mention us that we wouldn't like that we would see now rather than later. Uh, yeah. Your pipe or your pipe? <laughs> is it full of grave dust? <laughs> it's not full of grave dust. This is tobacco. <laughs> Just slide the removable rods back into the place to make it more convenient. Okay. And see. I, I bend over pretending Some to be a stupid idea is not you guys. No, just, just have I have a floating it. scroll. Holding it long. I, 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 I was not performing using floating scrolls. And I to do so scrolls. Scrolls. conspicuously. <laughs> I was not performing using floating scrolls. So as well, character, someone could stop me. As in character, I go, don't use the fucking floating scrolls in the middle of the street. <laughs> well, feel free to just hold it normally. Yeah. Okay. Pike here. So, yes. Look as if no. Look at no. Just look at it as if you're reading a map. Yeah. That's fine. Normal. There's a normal way of reading stuff. <laughs> yes, there is. And it's not holding it at a forty-five degree angle. Is it something you're happy? Just, just, just like this. Maps. You have an orient. You want to keep a direction similar to what you have. So yeah. You know you're that's implying that you know how to use a map. You're a freaking dwarf. <laughs> Dwarves actually don't use map maps, they use a secret coded system of mathematical calculations to determine every, where everything in the world is. Really? Yes. Yeah, Cause it's very strange. Because dwarves are known for their math. Right. Oh yeah. But the best... Actually, they are. They're known for their mechanics, but yeah. Conspicuously, I am going to write down... Just you know write down street address no, first. I'm going to start with my real name, Random. Okay. Interesting. No results, unless you guys have anything personally on you that would trigger that. 
No, absolutely not. I would don't wear red hair. No, no. You find a 400-page erotic fan fiction <laughs> written by someone named Waldo. <laughs> God, we're all in this. No, 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 no. It's just like oddly enough, the only one who is is just boring. <laughs> There's one note that I have. It's like, don't let Rangrum make decisions when following. <laughs> and after that, pencil it is, don't let me make decisions when being interrogated. Yeah. yeah, don't let me make decisions for interrogations or when it comes to evil dragons that created my job. Okay. Uh, <laughs> also, it says... Uh, <laughs> uh, currently, no results, although you do see... Coming around the corner, I'm guessing you basically picked the street you know the kid would be coming at. You can yeah. see the kid coming over, he's got his sort of little candle pole over his shoulder, he's wandering off, wandering towards you. He doesn't look like he's in a hurry. I kick him down, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Quick right in horn. Alright, horn. Horn, bing, you get a hit. Unfortunately, the hit that pops up does not make a whole lot of sense to you. There is a series of symbols which you don't recognize, and numbers, <clears throat> and then the word fake horn submitted by side street surgeons. And then several more numbers that don't make sense to you. All of by a fake. Um, if he shows us if, symbols, if, can any of us understand? If that stat would be put oh. under, it'd be, it knows an encoded message used between red books, obviously. I mean, Waldo can easily figure that it's a cipher of some kind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, would bluff be used for forgery? Uh, for forgery, yes. For deciphering them, no. Deciphering them would be a straight. No, yeah, just one for forgery. We... And it may or may not be possible, depending on the type of cipher. No, let's just. Um, like, so uh, the thing is, like, if it's a basic sort of like substitution code or something yeah. like that, where the recipient doesn't know they're going to be getting a coded yeah. message, yeah. then you can probably break it. But if it's something that's like based on a key, yeah, that's supposed to work off of, yeah, and you don't really, like, have we don't chance. have, we don't know how long the key is or anything. Yeah, you, know, you don't know what any of them. It can also be a twofold system. Both yes. the code mm -hmm. and the English part are both the same message. So if somebody copies the code but then gives a different message down below, you know there's a problem there because the code doesn't match the second message. So yeah, okay. Well, mm -hmm. um, well, can we, can, can we make a roll to break the code? You can make a roll, but I mean, all it's it basically it's going to tell you that this is some kind of cipher yeah. code. It yeah. uses a key that you don't have. We're not tracking that. that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, um, roll tricky. Do you think you might be able to decipher this? Uh, actually, pick me, make me a intelligence check. All right, twenty-five. Okay. Baldo, you can't break this code, but you know what kind of code it is. It's a book code or something mm -hmm. similar to them, which means the numbers refer to basically a page number, then a line number, then a word number. All right. In a specific text, and paper. if you don't have that text, you don't know what it is. However, then it does occur to you, indeed. That if they're working out of a print shop, it might be paper. Mm -hmm. Very well then. I uh, walk over to the boy selling newspapers and ask for a copy. Sure. He charges you, I'm going to say, two copper. Okay. Don't even bother to yeah. Don't even. <laughs> That's two levels below the normal <laughs> amount you carry. <laughs> you hand him a gold piece and he can't make change. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. We don't do that kind of paperwork here. <laughs> You can find the newspaper, sort of fold it, unfold mm -hmm. it, look through it. Uh, most of the stories in it detail various attacks from undead that have been occurring throughout the city. There are a couple that mention uh, that someone named Winston Moore is coming up for trial soon, mm -hmm. which you do recognize the name as that guy who once you got arrested all that long time ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Winston Moore, the dude with the gem. Pardon? Is that Winston Moore, the dude who used to have the no, gem? No, no, I'm talking about the priest dude. The no. priest had the gem. The priest had the gem, but he was given that gem by Winston. Oh. So. Winston got it somewhere in the shadow fell. Oh yeah, he was the guy who uh, we, we got to see his rap sheet and it was all stuff we did. Oh no, that was very well Marco. All right. <laughs> the guy who was falsely accused of uh, murdering a council judge. Right. <laughs> and was correctly accused of several other crimes. <laughs> anyway, if you uh, attempt to sort of work the paper and the uh, code from the note you were given, mm -hmm. checking over it, it yields a message that doesn't make sense. What, would what is the message? Let's is say this convoluted and not. Happy radish jump up four seven. We might have the wrong point. source then. Mm -hmm. It's worth noting that newspapers change every day. Mm -hmm. we, look, so, we, look, yes. we look up a cipher key in this world. <laughs> no result. If only it was that. Well, you would figure that it's probably meant that this message is meant to be maybe circulated for a next 
printing, so maybe it's meant to be using tomorrow's code, whatever that's going to be. Because of course, code. search up, code search up, the search up the date, search up paper, search up the date for the next paper. Oh. Like search up the date for tomorrow's paper. That'll bring up the paper. Papers papers to send this message out. Of course, this might be how they communicate with each other and send messages to all their members. Search up the search up the tomorrow. You paper. do notice a couple of the people buying papers do look kind of thuggish. Oh, and you know some what? of them look borderline illiterate. Hey, how about we bust out? How about we just destroy the? I think we are being too judgmental. This might have something to do with the happy radishes. <laughs> Guys, why don't we just burn down the newspaper so they we break down the communication system? You know what? Let's take the message, keep the same code at the top, even with the risk, and put something else at the bottom. You realize that with theoretically just put a convoluted bullcrap in there. Like considering the kids are just messengers, it doesn't matter. The people receiving them aren't going to matter what the okay, kid wait, for, first, first of all, paper. first of all, with the time elapsed in our discussion, pretty sure the kids delivered the message. <laughs> <laughs> Am I wrong? Uh, well, it depends. I mean, uh, he's can, wandering over here. Can we say no? Uh, he's probably handed it off by now, and the newspaper kid is sort of making his way towards the carriage stand. I'm guessing you're going to keep following him. Can we interrupt the kid with the code? Yeah. He's making his way to a cab stand. You could yeah, you know, okay. blindside him and try to no, make him out. No, we're just going to like walk up to him and say, hey, like, we need to talk to you. Oh, uh, I'm not working today, I missed it. Yeah, I just I'm, got off shift. I'm going to take up ten gold pieces. Call up, blimey! <laughs> now, kid, you got to keep this quiet. But I want you to give me that note. I'll what? give you oh. No yeah. inside check required here. <laughs> He's like ten. <laughs> do you want the t Do you want this money or not? Uh, do you want to You want to eat some food today? Uh, maybe. Uh, he looks broken like teeth, kid. He looks kind of scared. When you mention that, he uh, when you suggest you're gonna break his teeth, though, he goes for it. <laughs> like you know, it's just like it's like. Do you want to eat ever? <laughs> <laughs> That'll be awful mad if I don't drop it off, though. We'll give you something else. Mm. Something else. We'll give you the okay. corrected message. Yeah. Oh. Oh, this one's wrong? He sort yeah. of holds it up. Make a bluff check. The DC is like five. <laughs> <laughs> He's pretty stupid. 17 plus one. Oh, I was hoping you'd roll like you did. I was hoping you'd roll like you did with Numenera. <laughs> Just roll a two. I actually have a writing kit and I hand it to you. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah. Okay. So I pay him the ten gold pieces. Pass out. Uh, we, we lost the fake horn and everything is fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, what, what message are you giving him? We're gonna keep it the same. Well, no, should we, yeah, actually no. Proceed no, to stage No, no, no. Do we know of any other rival gangs? Like, minor gangs that we know of? Because I'm sure we... Minor gangs? Yeah, I'm sure. Not so much. I'm sure They've we, been dwindling yeah. and disappearing. Can I try I'm, sure we know I'm sure we know at least one. Well, you know the Ebon Clause, if you're looking for just a gang that you can call a favor from. No, but I mean a minor gang that we can blame the horn on. Because I'm sure, like, like what is a streetwise check? Since we work so well with, uh, you guys want to roll some blocks? I rolled a 1. Uh, 23. Oh, 11 plus my stat, mm. which is 15, I think. 11, what are we doing? 26. 26. 26 on my streetwise. Seems like you did pretty well. 18. Nice. Yeah. Um, you know a few sort of low end guys that yeah. aren't really, that aren't really gangs, so much as they are more like, um, a group of thugs. It's not even really that, it's more like people who work together frequently that are on the bad side. Of they're not really officially a gang, but yeah. it's like no, they, they have skills and occasionally if they need to do a job where like, yeah. they need locks picked but they don't know how to do that, they go, yeah. hey, you know, Charlie's good with locks, we'll yeah. have him go. That, yeah, that's basically the idea. Well, we just say Evan Claus switched the horn with a fake one. We'll do that. Yeah, sure, we'll okay, no, we don't want to spark a war. That's the whole Why point not? of the operation. Why not? Dude, where we're at. Screw them. That's the whole point of our operation right now. To not spark a large a portion of your operation is to try and prevent a city-wide gang war. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm just going to put down, like, a name, like, either the name of the gang or the name of the leader of that corporate Medium gang. Dave. There's a big Dave, there's a little Dave, there's a medium big Dave, there's medium Dave, and then there's medium medium wait, big Dave. Wait, wait, hold on. I got it. Okay. Uh... And there's other Dave. <laughs> What about something that puts suspicion into the print service? Like, um... I, I honestly, I'm not sure, because that'd be really difficult, because no. that's your central communication center. Now we know about that, we can use that to our advantage somehow, if need be in the future. So, I let's was, keep it rolling. I would say we should just... I, I, like, I'm on the side of table. I'm on the side of putting another quote-unquote rival gang name, and, like, just to, like, it puts shifts the blame so that they'll get punished for it and we won't. Maybe a fake gang. 
something new just coming up for the other the game. Scarecrow. Yes. Let's just call it the Scarecrow. No, because they would know. They would know a fake name, like just because of their network and their ability to their their attempts to gather these games together. So I'm just no. going to use a minor not fake a, game or a minor game. Not a, not a game person. The Scarecrow. <sighs> I know I want to be Batman, but I don't want to be Batman that bad. You could always throw a bumper under a bus. <laughs> no. <laughs> you probably don't even remember who that is. The drug addict. Billy? <laughs> the, what what you're throwing Billy. The one who the, Alice just witnessed you killing. <laughs> yeah. You realize that that might buy you like a day. <laughs> well, no, but if Alice he, eventually no, gets no, better, he could have done the pack oh, properly. No. But... <laughs> yeah, but no, fuck it. My fake game. Or other game. Hey, you know what? Okay, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. Sorry. Here's the thing. If we put a f different gang, Twitchy Guy is gonna know. Mm -hmm. I don't even know that um, was about a week ago that you made that drop, and she was asking if you'd seen Karos recently. Karos is so dead. He might be dead, or he might be missing, he might have run off. We stick with or the plan. he might just be dizzy. Stick with, with the, the plan. plan. Stick with the plan. No, well, because of his vision. I'm assuming he's either close to dead or being tortured, so that's fine. Possibly. So, I'm gonna say, stick with the plan. Minor gang. Okay. Minor rifle gang. You know who else you could use though? You could use Marcus Gravelstroke. Sure. <laughs> no. It's up to you. <laughs> I I have no idea. Do you, you want to throw the assassin under a bus? <laughs> no, I don't want to be on the bus under assassin. So well, well, they're, they're not, not going to be able to find him. They haven't found him yet. Exactly. <laughs> Their network's really. You're not sure if they're looking for. We him. don't. No. Know, again, we don't know how powerful they. We know they're relatively powerful, but we're not not sure how powerful. Truly. The worst thing you do is kill off an assassin in some alley that nobody's going to remember. No. About. The worst thing. No. The worst thing that could happen is that they attempt to kill off the assassin. The assassin gets pissed off at us because he somehow finds it's us who did it, and they come after us. How's he going to find out it's us? This kid right here, loose end. <laughs> not for ten gold pieces. Any number of ways. You know, ten gold pieces carries some weight. A knife next to your eye also carries weight, especially when you already have the ten gold pieces. <laughs> so I'm gonna say, like, he loses nothing by ratting you out. <laughs> Are you guys gonna allow me to make the ex executive decision here and just make you say minor game? Yes, I agree with you. Okay. I say you guys have been deliberating on that note for an awfully long time. <laughs> it's been ten seconds. <laughs> Show it has. Ten gold, like <laughs> you've been in like a huddle discussing things yeah. for like a minute. You're stuck in the middle of a huddle. I uh, had a few, I had a. I don't assume you're not that dumb. <laughs> I give him a cold coin for every minute we spent deliberating. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, what about the what's 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 her name? It's, like the storm witch? No, it's been done. That's a lady in the Feywild. Yeah. No, it's been done. We're doing the minor gang. <laughs> Done. We can't discuss this any further. So you're afraid to kill him, Dave, with that. Yes. Ready to stab. Yes. I'm, so so, like, no, like, no, like, I'm, so, I'm sorry, but it's just, it's been too long. If we keep this going, it's going to go on forever. Yeah. And I'm really, getting twitchy. Because we're going to poke holes in everything. I mean, my like, I Like, I was already poking holes into my own plan. Like, it's going to get worse. Guaranteed. So, I know my decisions haven't been the best, but at least they're decisions. As long as you don't find out that these decisions were actually uh, uh, the dragon's doing and not yours. <laughs> to be fair, why would the dragon want that? Better question, why would a dragon care? Yeah. <laughs> if anything, the dragon wants me to, re to uh, return to his body and, and like release it. He also might want to make sure that peace reigns in the city that his phylactery is under. He might not want peace. Oh, he'd want control. More than peace, but peace comes with control. Which everyone is less destructive to the city. <laughs> less destructive is just phylactery. Right. Good point. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyway, so how are you making this message exactly? You're I gave my right hand. You're leaving the coded bits the same? Yes. Alright. Because I'm assuming what happens is with the, co the coded bits, transcribe what the message is into certain locations in the page. Possibly. Like that's what makes the most Because like, otherwise, it wouldn't make sense for this to be what? encoded with straight text. But what about uh, you take the uh, ciphered message and you use that and the original message. What does that happen if you put those two together somehow? What do you mean? What? I'm not sure what you mean. Okay. You've got the, the nonsense. Okay. okay. You take the nonsense in the newspaper and it gets a different kind of nonsense. Right? Mm -hmm. You take that nonsense and put it with a message and put those together, decipher somehow if one of them is key, what would that occur? 
So if I take the ciphered message and the non-ciphered message and step to it, uh, can I develop profit somehow? <laughs> step three, profit. Oh, yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> I don't know how okay. ciphers work. It's basically no. Okay, wait. So um, well, I if I if I look at the code, do the numbers do the numbers match up with the, how many words there are? Basically, like so, page number and like line number and all that crap. Would it match up with how many words need to be delivered? The number of ciphered words versus the number in the message? Yes. No. Shit. I'm going to keep the number bits at the same and change the text message. Alright. That's it. Do you do anything with the date at the bottom? No. Alright. All the same. Okay. Right, guys? What is the date at the bottom? Is it, today? It, is, it is not today's date. It is it tomorrow's date? No. Is it a date in the future? It is not a date in the future. It's a date a couple, about a month or so in the past. Oh, they're using a paper from a month ago as a cipher! Okay. Yeah, the print shop, they would keep a copy. <laughs> oh, god damn it! This is therefore the, uh, you would guess this is probably a message intended just for the people in the print shop. Okay, um, We don't send a second message, we just scrap this one. Yeah, tear it up, see the kid go... <laughs> and walk away. <laughs> Are you actually doing this? It's your call, man. Before we do that, can we please bring up that date? On the scroll. Yeah, okay, put down the date. Thank you. The scroll. Okay. Receive. Does it it brings speak? up a message of the message you're looking at, which contains that date. Does Nothing it bring else? up any a newspaper of that date? No. no. Like it, it doesn't store information. The no, I know, but like it doesn't. Like, like, it doesn't pick up anything nearby. No, you're a ways away from the print shop. All right, fuck it. Yeah. Wait, no. The message didn't go to the print shop anyway. Why don't we take this message there, but before giving it to them, use the scroll beside the print shop to find that month back paper, see if the cipher matches up, then make our decision, and then find some little kid to pay off yeah, to okay. hand them. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I'm, I'm a good. Mm -hmm. Alright, it's like, kid, we'll, we'll handle this from here. You run along. I would recommend getting out of this district. So, here's a little bit more uh, gold. Here's why? a couple more gold. Just for your safety. Well, what are we doing? I'm, I'm supposed to drop the message off. We'll handle that. Well, not supposed to be the way it works. Here's five more gold. This is... I you... say this is high dear Rick. <laughs> Do you have a family here, sir? Yeah? I, I mean, no. <laughs> Please don't have my family. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> don't say anything more. Kate, Just let the kid, kid go. Okay, okay, worse no, okay, guys. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to kid, run along. We're going to send the watch to help your family. We'll, say, we'll tell them that you are integral oh, in... Oh, don't send the watch, they'll just arrest me dead again. <laughs> no, no. We'll tell them you're integral in helping with this op with what we're doing. No, don't tell them I'm a snitch. Hold on. Are you trying to be shit? Hold on. I'm going to slap him back the head. It's like, what like, are you, stupid? Witness protection is what I'm aiming for. Like, he doesn't know what oh, he's talking I about. Didn't, uh, we, I didn't witness nothing. Like, you know yeah. what, kid? Here's what we're gonna do. He's actually. I was actually about to say at this point he's gonna try to run away from you. No, I was, no, <laughs> no, run. You're no, no. Here's, here's what we're doing. Here's what I grab him and go. Here's what's gonna happen, kid. Yeah. You're not gonna remember this. Boom! <laughs> give him one punch. You know, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure Waldo has a spell called Memory to Miss. <laughs> you do? Yes. Okay. And right, at no point, with that kid, with, no point in I, this entire time, phone, okay, wait, did you say? Hey, don't punch him. Did you know he had that spell? <laughs> yes, because I was in a party with him before. <laughs> this is his fault. <laughs> no, since this I... is somehow <laughs> your fault. Well, retconning, <laughs> retconning, because I didn't know that, but as my character did, because I was in a party with him before, then I might want to tell him thanks for delivering the message. Here's an extra gold piece. You've been doing a lot of good for us lately. <laughs> That's right. Thanks for everybody. Okay, we, neural, we neuralize <laughs> him and say, you did a good job delivering this message. Go home. I say, what's your arcana modifier? Nineteen. Okay. Yeah, it's because there is a roll for that. Okay, so <laughs> did oh, you roll I, for me? I, or... I made the roll. Oh, okay. Because you don't know whether it takes or not. Please don't click that. Please don't click that. <laughs> I'm, so yes, we neuralize them. Go. <laughs> Good job delivering the message. <laughs> go home. Neuralize. <laughs> Yeah, just cross out memory of Nissan to say no. <laughs> I think that's I think that's cool. Can we get a bonus for calling it neuralizing? <laughs> no. Damn it. <laughs>
What if? How about if I give him some liquor? The kid? No. <laughs> Jesus Christ! It's been done. Neuralizing has happened. On the one hand, he's like ten, but on the other hand, this is allegedly like medieval esque times where that's pretty normal. <laughs> and he's a street youth. Come on. He probably does drink. <laughs> All right, you know what? Okay, so we have a message. You know what we gotta do? Let's do it. You guys do what you will. Wash my hands in the street. You know, you know my input. I'm done. So oh, Pontius Pilate is washing his hands in this decision. <laughs> you can you can get him drunk if you want. I don't care. <laughs> you can endanger the minor all you want. <laughs> give him cirrhosis of the liver. That's fine. I'm just gonna give him a little, I'm just like maybe like half a mug. That's what this big. <laughs> Half a mug of dwarven ale. <laughs> <laughs> to a child. Let's go to the emperor's shop. Yeah, okay, so it's been done. The spell. He theoretically got him drunk. Mm -hmm. He goes off on his way. We take the message to the print shop. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm gonna give him a little more so he can share with his friends. <laughs> Alright, here we go. But she will all drink all kid. himself. Yes, he will. <laughs> he won't get alcohol poisoning and die. No, he'll drink some of it on the way home, and then when he gets home, his dad, his alcoholic father, will beat him and take the rest of it away. And then the kid dies, so therefore, the loose end is tied. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Most convoluted assassin plot ever. And now your alignment changes. Exactly. <laughs> hey. I, I, saw how becomes a follower. I sincerely doubt that getting little kids drunk is good alignment. <laughs> It's for a dwarf. It, it would be out of line at best. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I'm probably like, maybe me would I would do it, but no, I <laughs> I didn't even do it, and I'm fucked up. In the in the classical D and D alignment, it would be chaotic neutral. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so maybe a little bit toward evil. We continue on towards the print shop. Certainly. All right. <sighs> you will find your, hire yourselves a carriage and head over that way. And Can we hire a ghost man? He only works at night. It's oh, not, not night time right okay. now. Okay. <laughs> it's actually early in the morning right now. You make your way toward the trade board, and you arrive at whatever the hell I said it was. Gunderson's print shop, I think yeah, I said. That was, yeah, that was I should probably write that down. <laughs> As we arrive close, we get dropped off a, like a block away. Sure. And then we walk up. Does anyone Taylor knows? Yep. Roll perception. Oh my god. 21. 8. Or 22. 9. Uh, 5 plus 13. 18. So, as far as you can tell, no one's intentionally following you, other than just people who appear to be going in the same direction as you. Like, no, like, carriage or person follows you for more than, like, a minute or so before going to the Take out the scroll. Okay. Put in the date. Date. Put in the date that we, of the note. <coughs> yes, of the note. Yeah. Date of the note. <laughs> you just write date of the note. <laughs> Syntax error. Smack. Uh, when you write the date down, you get one result. It is for the Donport Gazette, circa... You know, a month ago, basically. October, March the 12th. I don't care. I don't know what the months of this city are going to be. And it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's always October, March. <laughs> it's always March. <laughs> anyway, uh, you do get up. It's a copy of a Donport Gazette. It says, uh, it says the first headline story is Donport Gazette under new management of Gunderson's print shop. So it looks like it was the first paper that was published here. Okay. We compare the cipher on the note to this edition. Mm -hmm. After a bit of concerted work. You know what, while we're doing that, I'm creating a message of my own with the same cipher key. Uh, the message says, no luck finding Karos yet. Mark is still unaccounted for. Run this message in tomorrow's news. Okay. And then it says, horn, fake. Yeah, delivered everything, by you guys. Everything the same, horn, fake, delivered by medium Dave. Mm -hmm. No, medium Dave Kill waylaid the side treat surgeons and switched the horn that they yeah. thing. Yeah, that's right. So you're putting a message that says that someone waylaid you and switched the horn out before you made a drop? Yeah, because we don't know. Are There's you aware that makes you sound incompetent? <laughs> Wait, like, waylaid means, like, physically mugged. Oh, then... No, uh, uh, stealth uh, switched. Switch. Yeah, switched. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. That's fine. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. So we're yeah. just gonna... Waylaid is the wrong word. <laughs> yes. We're putting that message in. Also, if this I was is hit in the back of the head by a guy with a half onion and a sock, and when I woke up, the horn was still there, but it looked different. It was out of my pack, but I figured there was nothing wrong. <laughs> also, it's safe to say that they're always going to be using the first edition as their cipher. Yeah, so, can, like, so we can now send other messages. Can we, can we create a copy of the first edition? Uh, if you wanted to take some time and painstakingly copy it out, you could. First, I'm sorry, first things first, we're going to deliver the message. So, there is. 
I'm going to have a ritual called Animanesis, which copies pages of text. I'm going to read you can't cast rituals, though. I'm gonna we read can always come back here. Morgan is a ritual caster, but she's off doing something else. Dude, I'm going to redo <laughs> they have the I'm gonna read the message with we'll the, the, the updated message of, like, they snuck into our hotel and switched them, or whatever it is, and write the message. All right. Uh, scroll it up. Can we find us read edition? Yeah, probably. There's a number of them around. All right. Um, walk up to the kid. Can we oh, yeah, I didn't take nothing. Hey, kid, you want to you make some money? Always. <laughs> Here's, like, give, like, I hold up a gold piece. So at this point, it'd be 11 gold. I'm holding it above him. He's a little kid. What the fuck? I, like, as he tries to reach out, I go smack. No. It'd be great if he's just like, hey, you want a gold? Snatch. <laughs> as a thief, I have better street sense than that. <laughs> Roll street wise. Uh, 32. Alright, fine. Um, so I was like, okay, if you failed that, I was gonna have statues cut off. Yeah. <laughs> There's always more kids. Yep. <laughs> okay, kid. Deliver this note to the printing press, and... Oh, we're not supposed to go in there. Just That's where all the bastards hang out. Just knock on the door and deliver the message. Yeah, alright. I want two. You'll take one, or you'll take a knuckle sandwich. No, no. <laughs> give him one, and if he comes back after giving the note, we'll give him a second. Fine. You get one now, one later. I'll throw in this bit of booze. No, quiet you. No. Stop. <laughs> After. <laughs> After. <laughs> Stop trying to get miners drunk. We're in a silent spell. <sighs> Can you smack him on the side of the head with your fucking staff? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it breaks against uh, his armor, but... Oh. <laughs> but thankfully I was no, using a spare. Like... Just like, is your clue stick actually just a baseball bat that says Persuader on the side of it? Yes. It's, it's actually a sledgehammer. It's called the Persuader. <laughs> it, it only works well if Persuader is spelled with a W. Yeah. <laughs> can, we, can, can we just get the kid to deliver the message? It he should be real hard. He heads over to the print shop door, knocks on the door. Some uh, enormous six foot four guy. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly as wide the shoulders as he is tall, with the patchwork of scars over his face. They were, eh, what? Better uh, for you. <laughs> Holds it up. Eh, takes it. Folds it. Eh, Bob, you're good with letters and shit, right? <laughs> <laughs> and in the back, you could hear a voice goes, uh, Yes, I'm good with letters and shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, because we some kid just dropped this. Thing. Just bring it over here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the, assuming the man they, sounds very tired. I'm assuming they shut the door and the kid <laughs> runs back to us. They shut the door in the kid's face. Kid comes back over. Where's that going to your purpose, mate? I give him another one and go, run along now and don't spend this one all place. in one place. Specifically, drugs and booze. <laughs> oh, I make absolutely no promises, Captain. <laughs> Brothel here, I come. <laughs> no, that's like nine. I think he's gonna get a rock deal with me. <laughs> now, I'm wondering how much uh, you can get in the brothel for a gold piece. Two gold pieces is probably a lot, <laughs> depending on the market level. The house the special. <laughs> Depends on where you go. If you go to, like, Lucy's Crab Shack, you will probably get a quite a bit. <laughs> Shake your hand with the glove. Yeah. And then burn the glove. <laughs> okay, so it's a, on. it's a done deal. <coughs> we can go back to our our, our secret hide or our normal hideout. We try to re, re uh, wait guys, we oh shit. We should regroup with Morgan. No, first things first, we should make sure we're not we don't have a tail. Mm -hmm. Um so let's do some tail ditching maneuvers. Mm -hmm. And you know what? We're gonna wait till nighttime. Okay. Let's all go up to a Roll bar. Roll me either stealth or streetwise. For no, day. he's gonna do. No, coffee. we're just gonna do a standard. Wait till nighttime. We're in the market. Just blah blah blah. Then we're gonna call ghost carriage. Ghost carriage. No, he's magic man. 
Ma Magic Man is going to take us somewhere, instantaneously losing the tail. How do you call the ghost here, driver? He doesn't. He just shows up. Yeah. We think about, we, like, we need, it's like, we go, hey, we need the guy. <laughs> and he just shows up. That's actually never how that's worked before. <laughs> I don't know how wrong that terms. <laughs> Grant, no, you know, know, know what we do? You know what we do? We flip a gold coin in the air, like, ting! And that, that, re the, 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 the ting resonates. You flip a gold coin in the air <laughs> from a window behind you, a small child's <laughs> hand goes, snatch! <laughs> it's the Wolf. same child. Wolf, <laughs> Wolf, <laughs> Wolf, <laughs> <laughs> triple play! Come here, Lucy! So, um... Another round! <laughs> on me! <laughs> so, um... Yeah, you're yeah. the best nine-year-old I've ever seen. So we're just gonna, yeah. So can we? Can like I think that's the best idea to lose the tail is to use try and use Matchman. He has a name. I don't get Gustav. <laughs> Which okay, we go. We we call for Gustav. <laughs> it's a crazy yeah. idea. You know, like, you, you can try. You are aware that it's like ten, eleven in the morning. Oh my god! Like, do you really want to wait all no. day? No, 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 no. no. Never mind. <laughs> I had you know, no idea when we came out of the hole. <laughs> I cast Blur on me and one other person, and we try to lose. No, I don't know. Suspicious. No, no. Okay, <laughs> we'll just we'll do our standard maneuvering through the streets, trying to lose a tail. Sure. And then we're, we're, as we're doing it, we're gonna check behind us to see if there's a tail. Just roll either stealth or streetwise. Stealth. Actually, streetwise. Streetwise. Yeah, Twenty-four. Twenty-four. I got twenty-six stealth. Use, you can actually also use perception if you want instead. Can I use engineering? <laughs> no. 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 Well, considering the kind of city this is. <laughs> no. Just use uh, streetwise or. Uh, Dude, you have points in streetwise. No, no. If you go to the north side, I will let you use engineering because it is an absolute hive of hobbles. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll just use streetwise. Wait, is my perception higher? No, it's the same. That would be 18. What did everyone get? 19, 18, 20. Oh, yeah, it was uh, 18 plus. Oh, did you. Yeah, 18 plus for, 8 plus for stealth was 26. Mm -hmm. Uh, you do, you determined that you do have someone following you, but it's that kid that you gave him money to. So that's it. <laughs> Which kid we gave money to? The first one or the second? one at the print shop. Actually, it wouldn't be the drunk one, because he's drunk. It was the one at the print shop. No, I know what I'm saying. He got him, the, the other kid drunk. Why would that's he be drunk? <laughs> okay. He's, he's got his evening. <laughs> so can, can we ditch our tail? Sure. Yeah, you can ditch him without too much difficulty. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then I'd say we should head oh, to our gosh. we should head to our secret hideout, dump off all our excess equipment because we shouldn't be equipped like we are because right now we're equipped. Which secret hideout? The secret secret hideout. The double secret hideout. <laughs> <laughs> we've been here. We've been here actually relatively recently, but I'm, we're dumping off our stuff because we have to maintain the idea that we're street thugs. Okay. I feed. Actually, no. No. Sorry. Gray is at the other hotel. Never mind. He's currently sleeping in front of the fire at the same time. Yeah. And uh, so, are you guys are you guys gonna dump some of yourself? I'm gonna dump some of my like more crazy stuff. Like, I'm just gonna dump the Jama Club weight. Well, yeah. I'm I'm dumping like mm. I'm gonna dump my boots and actually I'm also buying my silent grappling hook again. Okay. <laughs> and also a thieves kit. Right. I buy a bowler hat and a pair of glasses. <laughs> I put I throw down my bag of holding. I also shave my head. <laughs> I throw it on my back while holding an obsidian steed. I'm trying to imagine that a lad who did a bowler hat with a shaved head. And it's, it's an interesting mental image. And a Hitler stash. <laughs> Why? Charlie Chaplin. You got a point there. I don't think that's what the look he was angling for was. <laughs> no! I'm just gonna. To be fair, bowler hat with a. I don't think Charlie Chaplin had a shaved head. <laughs> Chaplin is the only one who's ever worn a bowler hat. Ever. Where's the dwarf? The dwarf's not there. Which dwarf? He's not a... Not me. That dwarf. He's not there. You're not where with us? He? Not where? He's not, not a secret hideout. You're yeah. not with us? Because you were in our group. When yeah, we, were doing we were doing the tail thing, right? Yeah. yeah. So we were sticking together while we were doing it. Oh, yeah. That's stupid. How, how do you lose a tail? By moving as a group quickly and dodging through side streets and such. Any number of ways. Yeah, you don't need to split up. We don't split up. You don't need to, it is a lot easier. If you would, if you say, oh, I got something to do, and say, I'm leaving, that's cool. Okay, what were you trying to do? I was going to say that an hour later he shows up with a giant exotic fruit. 
by all means. You can just say, I got something to do, and go get something done. It's, <laughs> it's the size of a watermelon, and blue. <laughs> is it I don't know blueberry? what it is, but someone's just giving these away. <laughs> is it giant blueberry? I'd be afraid of fruit just being given away. It's like the shape of a watermelon, and it's like hard on the inside. <laughs> okay, so, drop off our stuff. I'm, get, I'm getting rid of, like, bag of holding and obsidian steed. If anybody wants to get rid of their stuff. Drop my gem cloak. Wait. All I have is a staff and a robe. <laughs> and your gem. <laughs> and your new gem. But oh. you, can, no, you can stick with that because you were seeing outside with that already, so it's fine. Also, he's not known to be a member of your gang. Yeah. So, so, he's so a sub dwarf tweed you picked up somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm also wearing got glowing eyes. <laughs> I have glowing eyes. Yeah, so I'm wearing sunglasses to hide those. <laughs> so I think we're good. Everyone's just drop off any excess equipment that makes it seem too obvious that we're more than just a, a, a band of thugs. And yeah, we should do that. And then where are you heading after that? We head to our normal hideout to meet up with Morgan. <coughs> normal secret hideout. Yes. Right, right. And I go feed Gray, give him some pets. I'm really tempted to have it be like nighttime by the time you get back to the slumber mill and then the Gustav is parked outside. <laughs> and it's just, but he's just like eating a sandwich. <laughs> I'm gonna chat up with Gustav. No, no, he's not over there. No. <laughs> this is what I'm doing with Gray. Hey, pet, 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 <laughs> Eating puffs. Alright. So you're gonna hit the hay for the night then? Awesome. Um, well, we meet up with Maura again. Uh, she's not there. <sighs> Alright. Guys, do your thing. Let's go like this. <laughs> we'll do it. What are we doing? The bat. Tying him up, presumably. Oh, yeah. I thought we were doing gang signs. Actually, can you guys um do this? Where I sit in my meditation position, put my hands on my feet, and like walk my hands like this. You tie them all together, put the rods on top of my lap, so I can't really slip out. Like, go like one rod here, and then one rod like choking me back. Uh, just put if you're sitting in a corner, maybe that would work. Yeah, in a corner yeah, sure. would work. work. In any case, like, it's just, like, tie me down. Like, this is a relatively decent method for it. Just sit here, tie all my limbs together, and then just lock me in with the rods. Done. One time. We're taking shifts. Azazel knows exactly. Shit. We're taking shifts. But the real question you have to ask is, Azazel suggested this idea. Would they go for it? <laughs> Given that you suggested it. Yes. I'm not doing the tying. And I go, take my thieves kit. There you go. Take this thieves kit that I suspiciously bought just today. <laughs> is there any tools missing? Yes. <laughs> I'm going to say no. Because I don't know what the fuck of you said. No, there aren't any missing. Alright. We do have to go back sometime though so we can copy out the cipher. Because Hawklight would love to see this. Right, yeah. We'll do that later. Oh, I, I assumed you were doing that. Copying oh. that newspaper? Yeah, you know what? No, we'll I wasn't we'll, sure if we were giving no, it time. No, no, yeah, no, like, no, no. You had all day. We were, okay. doing, we were doing that after we delivered the message. So we delivered the message, they shut the door. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Because like that was because like, like I didn't want to delay the message even further. Me too. Mm -hmm. So you have a copy of a very old newspaper. <laughs> okay. So rest up for the night. Yep. You're ready. Taking shifts. <laughs> I'll take yeah, first shift. shift. I don't trust this one. All right. Yeah. So I go into a trance for about five hours and then I'll take the next shift. Yeah, do we have? In, eh? Do we have a shared dream state at all? No. Yeah. Wait. Only we'll a work. perception check. Lucky roll, by the way. Seventeen. Okay. Total or on the die? Total. Total. Alright. You notice that Azazel has fallen asleep again, which is not particularly difficult to notice. He's not snoring though. He's almost sort of mumbling to himself. He's I'm singing closer trying to hear what he's saying. Control the city. <laughs> it's not that. It's um, it sounds kind of like sleep talk, but... Mm, what languages do you speak? Common, giant, and if I had my gem colloquy, draconic. Did you leave it back at the high notes? <laughs> yes. Yes, I did. I don't understand what he's speaking, do I? Uh, is no. It, is it trick? Oh, God. Hey, wake, me, wake me up. Hey, I still have a straw hat. No, wait, that's all of them. Wake me up. I speak draconic. Yeah, you're know, pure draconic. Wake him up. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. He's mumbling to himself. Wait. Okay. Oh, there's that language that drags you. Okay. He's talking. I very strong. Is he speaking draconic? What languages do you speak, though? I so speak great. Draconic, Primordial, and Deep Speech, and He Elvenic is speaking talk. Primordial. Okay. What's that? He's actually counting. Okay. 
down 13, or up? 18, 19, 20, 21, 17, 18, 19, Run! 21, 17. I wake everyone up and run. He's counting those specific sequence of numbers over and over again. Oh, wait, so he's counting... 17 to 21. Were those numbers on the newspaper 18, code? 19, 20, 21, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Were those numbers on the newspaper code? Hmm? Were those numbers on the newspaper code? I refer to the cipher. Does it make a message? Uh, no, because there are five digits in that, and you would need six to get two words. <clears throat> Can two of the numbers or groups numbers be put? Yeah. Never mind. Would I be able to roll an intelligence check to figure out what, if, what the correlation between that? You could try. Alright. Do I have anything going on in my dreams? Uh, state? 22. Uh, you roll high enough to assess out that this is not based on whatever cipher you were looking at in the newspaper code. Okay. But you're not sure what it is. Do I have anything going on in my stream dream state? No. As far as you can tell, however, uh, you're sort of sitting there looking around. And these two guys are sort of sitting next to you looking at you. Hushing and conversing with each other in hushed voices. Mm. So I'm not in my dreamscape. It's almost as if I'm trance. Yeah, you're. As far as you can tell, you are in trance. Okay. Uh, roll me a perception check, is it? Critical fail. <laughs> <laughs> you're pretty sure Waldo's planning to stab. <laughs> this guy has knife out. He's like just waiting for a moment. <laughs> Am I seeing that when it's actually not happening? Mm. I actually do have a knife out. In terms, in terms of, as far as to my character's knowledge, he has a knife out. But, nah, that doesn't your knowledge. Unless he wants to have a knife out, he doesn't. But you can see them sitting there talking. Although you can't make out what they're saying. As a Zazel, I would... I'm like, you know what? Fuck it, I'm waking up. <laughs> can I do an Arcana check on him? Sure. I'm gonna wake up <laughs> and just be like... And just go, hey, hey guys, would you guys talk? Go team! <laughs> I'm gonna, I wake up and go, guys, what's going on? Am I doing something? 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. What do those mean? Um, it's a sequence of numbers that is 4. I think it's 17 plus 4, it goes to 21. It's what you were just repeating in Primordial. I don't know Primordial. Also, as far as you were concerned, you weren't saying anything. Yeah, and like, I don't know what you're talking about. No, you were. You were speaking Primordial. Okay, like, I'll accept that because... I do have multiple consciousnesses. Well, talk life. to them. See if the, the numbers make sense to them. Dream state, or mindscape, is like, hey guys, do you guys... Burn it up! No. <laughs> Wall. Just kidding. He's not actually... Hey guys, did you hear me speaking in Primordia? Mm. No. What happened? It was weird. Alistair, you awake? What time is it? Mm. Hmm? He's looking around. Are you right, buddy? Yeah, it was odd. I just sat down and I was like... Hmm. Right. And then you oh, got, sorry, did, the world, did the world kind of skip? Almost, yeah, that was weird. <sighs> I call out for the dragon. <laughs> Show your fucking face, you goddamn pussy. <laughs> no response. <laughs> it's like, figured as much. <laughs> Ask him about the numbers in Primordial. Or maybe I, I could, he, like, he would know what I said to Alistair, and I'm questioning it. Like, he's, if he didn't answer me calling out, like, you know, I'm fine. Hey, why are you making me count to, from 17 to 21 in Primordial? Are you just shouting this out to no one in particular? Or are you asking Alistair about it? I'm asking out to general. No response. Alistair goes, hmm, numbers? But apparently, when I was sleeping, I was speaking Primordial, which I don't know, from 17 to 21. Hmm. Anastasia, come down here. Maybe a religion check? Do, they have, do the numbers have religious significance? <laughs> Can we do a lore check on uh, the dragon? 18 plus 17, that's... Hey, do we, have, do we still have a map of the super system? I'm assuming we would, because it's phylactery. Yeah. I don't think you made a copy of it, but I mean, you can find maps of the super system. Okay. You know what, I'm still going to steal one from a city. I, 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 I hop out of my uh, mindscape really quick and go, Hey guys, check like sewer port numbers for the, for the phylactery slash super system. I go back to landscape or dreams. Okay, yeah, I got thirty-five on my religion check. Any? Sure. You don't think so? Okay. All right. So we'll. Uh... Do the lantern have perfect memory? No. Oh, damn. Does mine make sense? Does what make sense? My theory of just the phylactery points. Mm -hmm. Guys, I check them out. Yeah. Go back to my mindscape. Seriously, not cool, dude. <laughs> and you don't even have emotion. You're a freaking mind. You're not even like a soul. <laughs> He's either doing something, or he's telling us something. 
doesn't seem like a spell, so maybe he's trying to warn us. No, it's not a spell. No. Baldo would be like I said. Yeah. I'm, I'm assuming it's some form of coordinate system or just like telling us locations on a map. It that would that would make the most sense to me because you would not put sequence in a book because unless it's line numbers in a book. But which book would it be? His journal, maybe. Let's check his journal. <laughs> no, you don't have it. How far would it be to go back to that abandoned temple and go back down to the library? It would probably take you only. Gustav. I call out and say, how do I give you control? No response from anyone, but uh, Alistair goes, well, <laughs> I know how to give you control, Alistair. Just say for I know, fun. <laughs> no response. Anastasia, can you come down here? She shows up. You know what's going on? Well, uh, are you trying to hide? Based on my extensive study of the topic, I have determined that what's going on is you're an asshole. asshole. You're getting fucked. Yeah. <laughs> no, I figured. I figured. Um, I don't like to say I told you so, which is a lie. I love to say it. It just gives me an utter thrill in the core of my being. <laughs> but I told you so. Yeah, okay. That's fine. But five numbers. How could five numbers be coordinates? No, not coordinates. Like port numbers on a flag drive is what I was thinking the most. Mm -hmm. Like potentially damaged points on a flag drive. Alright, I'm just like, alright guys, try and, try and think of what's going on and try and like figure a way out of it. But have you ever can, city watch in deal. secret and try to... <laughs> not a big deal, I wake up. I'm not even fully resident, am I? No, you are. Okay, sweet. That little exchange will take a few minutes. Okay. Uh, do I have to go back to my trance to fully rest? Yeah, basically. Okay, I'll go back to my trance. I'm like, hey guys, I'm gonna try and get rested up. You guys might want to try and figure it out. I'll stay here. <laughs> go back to sleep as far as you can tell. Rangram, your turn. I'm too sleepy for this. Mm. Alright, I go back into my trance, I guess. Do any of you see him pull up the beer? Watching carefully area. <laughs> Getting progressively drunker. That should affect a perception check if he doesn't make it. <laughs> no, he's watching intently, I'm not going to make a perception check. Uh, the rest of the evening passes by uneventfully. Azazel doesn't do anything else unusual other than continue to sleep. No, no, no counting continues? No. No one stops. Okay. He once again sort of starts snoring maybe. Snap bubble. <laughs> <laughs> it was established last session. <laughs> nice. Anyway, uh, the morning comes around. <laughs> You're feeling a little bit hungover. <laughs> do I do I wake up with a startle because I'm not in my trance state? No. You wake, wake up, up normally. As far as you can tell, nothing strange happened. Nothing yeah, else happened, guys. Rango. Anything else happened? Did you get drunk and fall asleep? No, no, I was awake. I was awake. Don't worry about it. Did you get drunk and fall asleep? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm, I'm a guard. My dragon's blood wore off, right? Yours? Yeah. You, you spent a very evening punching the walls. and You took your pillow and you tried to practice chokeholds on it for most of the evening and eventually you tired yourself There's out. There's feathers everywhere. <laughs> you did break your desk. Oh, I'm probably going to have to pay for that. <laughs> probably. Okay, we go... Uh, the desk breaks, it's just full of listing devices, you're like, Grr, God damn it! Welcome! <laughs> oh god, if I'm Heisenberg, he must be Jesse. <laughs> we go to whichever place would have maps of the water system. Town Hall, mm -hmm. uh, Night's Watch, whatever. Yeah, Museum. Town Hall. Uh, it would be up in the Highgate District. You could probably make your way in there. Okay. Am I with you? Wait, Although, currently so you're posing as thugs, so did, getting did, into Highgate might be difficult. Did you guys untie me? No, we completely forgot about you. You're still there. You're going, guys. No, we you. Guys. Wait, no, we don't have. Wait. Oh, we still have to be close to the building if we're going to be using the scroll. Mm -hmm. Uh, we sneak into Highgate? <laughs> Many well, actually, tries. I, uh, you know, I just have a hat and sunglasses, so no one will probably recognize me, so <laughs> I just take the scroll and. Hey, look, like, it's that tall, monstrously pale guy with the pointy ears. Who? <laughs> you could just go to town and watch that, hey. Hot these guys. They wouldn't know you. I would. That might be ill advised. Yeah. Uh, there could be other places that would be able to guess such a thing. Mm. Like maybe <coughs> the library. Uh, no. That we just go back over to. Oh, that place. for the map? Yeah, okay, we can go to the map. We can get the map. We'll just go in the whole game. What I was thinking was <laughs> if you want to get the message to Hawkwind, go to the gate. Because there's guards there, for sure. Yeah. There's no other places that would have building plans in the city. Can we try and look for the guys? Some of the Rathas might have plans in the city in them. Yeah, okay, you know what? Let's look for the phylactery thing. I think the sewer system's meh. Yeah, we go down to the uh, abandoned Arathus temple. Down into it, where the uh, 
the Draco Lich's body used to be and pass that to the library. As you're uh, making your way down to the south side district, to the area where you sort of recognize several landmarks when you poked your head out of that uh, temple, um, you can't find it. Is it interesting? Sure. Like, it, you're walking you around, there's it. like, there's an area where you're pretty sure you remember it being, but there's... Arcana no. check, now. Uh, is, is it a perception filter? 36 Arcana. Alright. You can definitely detect there is some sort of disturbance in this area. Mm -hmm. It seems temporal in nature. Time travel? Possibly. I jump in head first. <laughs> I push him. <laughs> Quantum Leap! <laughs> oh, Quantum Leap. No. Yeah, I'm just gonna... As far as you can tell, something in this area has basically been locked in a specific time period. You might be able to find a way to access it, though. Not another Arcana check? Yep. Right. I try to pull the area apart with my hands. You have to find the edge first. <laughs> mm -hmm. it's like it's... Yeah, if he just walks like this for a good chunk until he hits 25. Feel okay. where the magic thing is. Yeah. To be fair, he does have his tree hands. He does have magic sensing hands. <laughs> well, Waldo can actually direct you to a place where you might be able to disrupt the field, and the hedge would actually be capable of disrupting a field like this. So uh, between the two of you, you can sort of manage to uh, distort something, and you end up with this weird sort of shimmering hole, and inside of which you can see, like, currently what you're looking at is basically like a section of houses, basically. Mm -hmm. When you open this little bit, what you see is an old derelict temple. Okay, I kick his ass in and close the hatch. <laughs> <laughs> we go in. Alright. Head inside. The little thing goes, closes behind you. You're pretty sure you can get out of it easily enough. Huh? Good. That is standing, so cool. Standing in here, looking out, you see the city as it exists in the current modern era. It looks like basically you could just walk out of here if you wanted. It's just getting in that's difficult. Yeah, we go down to that door. Where that water yeah. sigil thing is, and we'll see if we can go farther. Is there a library? Uh, is there a library? Oh, we're going to that library. Yeah. yeah. Okay. As you open up the uh, door and into the uh, main section of the room, in the sort of the daylight, when you last stuck your head out here, it was actually sort of late in the evening. As you sort of poke around here in the daylight with the light streaming in, you can see there's a couple of things lying around here on shelves and tables and whatnot. Most notably, you see what looks like the ta a table nearby has iron bands on it, which are like attached to the table coming out of it. All of them are broken. They are arranged in a pattern, not unlike this. Dunk, 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 dunk. Like something was previously holding a hand in place there. This, like a claw? No. About that size, yeah. Like a big bony dragon claw? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so where were we disposed of the claw still in the same position? Okay, so well, first, you first of all, to dust hey, in a burlap sack and take my into a pool of holy water? Uh, I wasn't the one, I, did, I, did, I, did, I was just going to put it in the sack and put it in the holy water. <laughs> it's my water. Ah, okay. Hold on to that. We're going into where the zombie is. Like the freaking dragon is. I'm holding on to his implement. There you go. Which implement? My death bone rod. Alright. You mean my gem? <laughs> That's not an implement. <laughs> you can use it as one. <laughs> I've, I have used it as one, <laughs> but I was just hoping you'd do something dumb. <laughs> what, touched my freaking gem to his ass? <laughs> yeah, they're not great. <laughs> I'm not that mean. I'm mean, but I won't, I won't take away special powers from people. Anyway, unless they're so you're heading down, down, the down to the room of holy water? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Big skeleton still there. Still in the same position. I splash in holy water myself. Your gem disappears when you splash it at it. Pretty cool one. <laughs> they fall on deaf ears now. <laughs> we go past where the library is. Alright, make your way back into the library. Or do you search up some stuff? Pull out the scroll. Yep. Bring up that map. Yep. Are there numbers on it? There are a vast array of numbers all over it. Just like annotations marking basically valve numbers. Is there a 17, 19, uh, 17 18, 20. 19, 20, 21? Yep. Do the, the main line that runs basically across part of the city, the five largest valves along it are numbered from 17 to 21. Shaped like a star, or is it just one long line? Long line of them. Okay. What district Looks like is it's a series of shunts. Where does it run through? It runs basically under the trade ward. Basically, it runs from the trade ward to where the sky pillar is. I'm going to go back to the room of the dragon skeleton. We copy yeah. down. Sit down mm -hmm. at the Those locations. At, uh, like underneath it, mm -hmm. and do my mindscape, right. and go, what is the point of those numbers? 
What do what is it, what what do you what are you trying to show us with the valves? No response. What do you want from me? <laughs> what do you want from me? <laughs> Who are you? Who am I? See, the beauty part is why would he ever respond when he could drive you insane much more quickly by not? <laughs> <laughs> I step out. Hey guys on the map, can we find I'm gonna bust thing? this thing down. Mm. Is Kelly me? No, that's a bad idea. That's up to you if you want to do that. I'm not doing it. It's a bad idea. <laughs> as bad as absorbing the soul and then direct glitch into your soul. Not a soul, a mind. Mind, yes. Is there anything else you'd like, guys would like to do? I'd like to copy out that map? Things like that? Yes. Sure, copying it down. Match it with, uh, with, match the location with a uh, modern map. Just like place it like I doubt it's changed. Yeah, no, that, no, that, that down would change. That but the top it location would. We, we yeah, we want to have a marking of where it's running like through. Entrance points. The maps must show ways in and out. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah. The the numbers in reference are actually they're on the water system, not the sewer system. But yeah, yeah. It basically the valves that run from directly where the river enters the city is valve seventeen, and it continues across the trade wharf, basically across the northern part of the city to where the sky pillar is. It ends at the sky pillar area. Well, that's where valve 21 is. It continues on after that. It then yeah. curves down and then heads toward the ocean. But the key thing here is that to valve 21 is up there. If the water system is this phylactery, would he have some control over the things like that? Would Possibly. he be able to mentally turn off and on those things? Not he intrinsically, but those. he might have added his hand to do being tortured. By what? By somebody trying to find out a way to the sky pillar or out of the city. I think it might be to sneak into the sky pillar. How can you sneak into a sky pillar that's floating? There's a building. Below there's a wet. Like yeah. no, no. But what we're saying is, well, there's also that, and it's it, there's like a ton, like the tunneling system that happens to lead to the sky pillar. I doubt that's a coincidence. So. Well, I'm I'm, I'm basically done. I'm waiting to go back into the temple to see, look at the five ring thing. Yeah, I'm going with you to examine those first. You need to go somewhere else. We don't want him listening in. Darn it. I was one thing. No. You can't Rod, do Rod. Rod, Rod, one. Same no. thing to me. Rod, one, same thing. I got a staff I'm packing here. Draco Lich. <laughs> we don't want the Draco Lich listening in on this. Well, you know what Draco Lich? Bring it. <laughs> I killed Thurmson. Single handed. Okay, while he's doing that, I take Waldo <laughs> and go. Yeah. We go far away from. Well, okay, then we're actually going to head up to the fine ring thing. Alright. The table with the. Okay. Open, so can, yeah, and we're, we're just going to inspect it. Oh, you do find a. There is. Let's say you find a trace of what looks like wolf hair on it. If I you would guess that right this hand was probably locked up here up until mm -hmm. maybe Anna found so, it and broke it free. So. It would also here. suggest that all that scribbling on the top of that pyramid was done, was done basically over the last couple of weeks. Yeah. Which is impressive, considering it looks like months worth of consolidated work. So he either does that very quickly, or something else was assisting him. Anna. Possibly. Good, because I thought the whole ring thing was after we dealt with the hand. Somebody. No, no, no. It was. It was. It was. No, you just didn't notice it because it was. It's basically when they when they chopped off the dragon's arm, they locked it up as well, along with the dragon. Can I can I take the ring things? The little bindy rings. Yeah. Yeah, they're just magical. No, they're just big steel rings. Never mind. They're heavy and sturdy, but looks like mine broke them. I don't. I was assuming they were magical and I could somehow use them on my pendant to bind it. I'm going to put, going to wear them as nipple rings. <laughs> Clearly this is how this works. <laughs> I, I do the neck thing. <laughs> no. Um, I'm done. Alright. Two so, options. Mm -hmm. We either go tell Hawklight about this or send a message to her somehow. Uh, considering you're not associated with us, you might be able to do that on your own because we can't be seen. Yeah, let's, let's do that. I have an idea. And then after that, we head to the water system. Oh, I have an idea. We could go into the water system, go to the sky pillar ourselves, and we do not in. want to break into the sky pillar. We're not going to break into the sky pillar. We're going to knock and go, hello, message for hot light. Bye bye. Mm. Can, can we what? just can we just send Waldo because Waldo is. Is unknown to, mm -hmm. to be associated with us. Well, he was seen with us. I think we're okay. Yeah. Like just in terms of him, because like they don't know he's probably like, he's actually in our group, in any way, shape, or form. 
Yeah. Like they have no pure evidence other than we came out of the hole. Well, it could start suspecting him as maybe he might be undercover and warn us about it. All the better. So, yeah. You wake up one morning and find Waldo's head in your bed. <laughs> and you don't say, we got it for you. Don't worry, this guy was snooping around and we got it. <laughs> Waldo, would you mind sending a message to Hawkeye for us? Yeah, okay, I'll do it. Cool. I will do this. Write it down. And hand it off to... We go to the watch keep. Well, he goes to the watch keep. Mm-hmm. Which one? Actually, no. You know what? No, he goes to Grundy and Sons and hands it to the bar tender and says, give this to Aqualite. Mm-hmm. No, the dude who's always there. Whatever. Derek Bishop. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> one or the other. not the game here. <laughs> one or the other. In any case, you're not sure if he actually sleeps. Dude, this would be easier if we had a druid who had, like, animal messenger spell. <laughs> um, so, yeah, just do that. Um, in the message, yes, in the message, shot. valve number, the whole valve thing, <laughs> where it leads there. and all that. <laughs> the, the, the use of the new, like, tell her to look for uh, the first newspaper article, like, a paper to come out for that, that date. Um, look for it in the library. Tell her that that's a key to the ciphers that they've been using to deliver messages. If need be, we can give her a copy later. <laughs> yeah. And they also, tell, also tell her that they use current newspapers to do the uh, deliveries mm-hmm. messages as well. And or I could press to digitize a firework to say Yo Hawk Flight and <laughs> Yo Hawk Flight I found a hell red cloak said secret messages. <laughs> I just ran right across the city. <laughs> Let's not do that. No. <laughs> I have an idea. <laughs> Gentlemen, it's time we go to the waterways. So I think I think that's our plan. We send him off to re- send a message, wait for him, tell him we'll meet him back at the hotel, or at the mouth of the river, or at the entry of the waterway, okay. like basically port seventeen, and then yeah. All right. Eight, so that's what we want to do. yeah, I go. Yeah, I go do that. All right. Sure. Roll me a perception check. Oh, Lord, you He's just trying to send you out, man. <sighs> 16. Right. As far as you can tell, no one's welcome here. <laughs> You're fine, don't worry. He's just messing with you. It's a DM thing, don't worry. <laughs> While that is technically true, it's also impossible to tell which what I'm giving you. Yeah. <laughs> which is the whole point of him doing what he's doing. That's the worst part, because some of that won't be fake. Yes. <laughs> Alright, you get a message to the, uh, the captain fairly easily. Mm-hmm. Uh, she also does tell you that Nina is still unconscious, and currently the clerics can't figure out what's wrong with her, or get her to wake up. Mm-hmm. Ask if she's been mumbling in her sleep. Has she been mumbling in her sleep? Mm-hmm. Sometimes, but mm-hmm. in any like nonsense that, words. Repeat those numbers in primordial. Even if she doesn't understand primordial, do they sound similar? Mm-hmm. Uh, I speak primordial and ask if it sounds like that. Mm-hmm. Nope. Um, okay. It's common, it's just words that don't make sense. Oh, okay. Like what? Ask, ask what? What word specifically? Happy yes. radishes. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it! Exactly. That's where it is. <laughs> I had it right the first time. <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! Anyway, message sent? Message sent. Is he on his way back? Yeah. That he is? Yeah, I'll head back and I'll check to see if I'm being followed. Mm-hmm. Okay, much better roll. 16 plus 13, uh, 29. Mm-hmm. You do catch some shadows out of the corner. Okay, what are they? They're people shaped shadows. Specifically, a person shaped shadow. I don't know. Does it look female? No. I cast invisibility on myself. Alright. <laughs> Well, duck around a corner and then do it. Yeah. <laughs> Just disappear in the middle of the street. <laughs> They'll never realize I got on. <laughs> <laughs> so you duck around a corner and disappear. Mm-hmm. What do you do then? I try to lose them and make my way back to the... No, I stand don't. still and see if you can catch sight of them. Not the hideout. Oh, no, no, wait. Uh, stand still and try to catch sight of them. Right. Not the hideout. Poor sight after a few seconds, after you sort of turn invisible and sort of duck down behind something, throw me a stealth check. Yeah. Big bonus is invisibility, right? Okay. Also, it's a busy street. Alright, uh, 22. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, around the corner, 
comes someone you don't recognize. Mm -hmm. He's a fairly swarthy looking guy. He does, however, bear some resemblance to that woman you were following earlier. Mm -hmm. Looks like he might be a relative. Okay. Shit. He's got a rapier on his hip. Get, um, back, get, okay, get back to the city again. That's basically the idea. Yeah. Alright, um, I uh, wait until... He has a very he... determined look in his eyes. Alright, I wait till he passes by and uh, go on my way. He passes by you a little bit, looks down sort of the street around, quickly dashes up to a couple while he's looking around and goes, fuck. <laughs> sort of turns around and waves. He does have port 17 of mm -hmm. the sewer system or the waterways. Yep, and I ask, uh, and I uh, tell them, give us there was a man following me, and I give him a description. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you recognize that yeah, description. Yeah, we, we know that guy. <laughs> Uh, we kind of freed him from Marcus control of the clothes. We kind of freed him from control of the clothes. Mm -hmm. Now he's looking for his sister, most likely. So should Either I... that or revenge. Mm -hmm. What they go, go, they go hand in hand. <laughs> okay, so uh, I guess we should enter the waterway, and that might be a good point. What time are we at? Uh, we have ten minutes, but mm -hmm. that's probably a good point. Yeah, because so it's very. So you guys are going to explore the waterways next time. Yeah. All right. To be fair, we actually should be waiting for the close message, but... Wait, hold on. Can all of you roll a nature check on that weird, giant, blue melon? Oh, okay. Oh, God. I got a 12. 21, probably. 21. It's a rasbobble. A rasbobble? Yep. A rare melon from the southern continent. Mm. You know that they're a bit tricky to eat, because the inside of them, it's actually a rind, and then there's some fruit that's about that thick. It's just mm. like, sort of, sliver, kind of like... Kind of like how, like if you split open a cantaloupe, mm -hmm. it's sort of hollow in the middle. Mm -hmm. uh, the inside of them is actually filled with a liquid. Okay. So if you just split them open, then you just sort of lose it all. Mm -hmm. The traditional method is to basically cut a hole in the side of it, pour liquid out, drink it, and then eat melon. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, like, I don't believe that that's part of this game. You made that up right now. Yes, I did. Obviously, I just made that up. <laughs> you realize he well, I wasn't sure. There was so much detail <laughs> there. No, he was the one who made up the fruit in the first place. Oh, he's been... Yeah. Have you spent this whole time thinking about... <laughs> no. Oh, good. <laughs> no, he was... Every level of dedication <laughs> that would make me jealous. He was the one who thought of fruit in the first place, and then he just created the fruit. What specifically happened was he said he comes back with a fruit. I picked a color that fruit doesn't normally come in. <coughs> it didn't seem weird. And then in about 30 seconds came up with that description, and then remembered it when you asked me now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll shut up now. Wait, I would the really name I did, however, make up on the spot, obviously, because it was a terrible okay. name. <laughs> this is what we're going to do. We're all going to enjoy the rad bubble before we enter the waterway. Yes. <laughs> Actually, uh, what you should do is when you cut it out, use it, use the make sure you cut it out in a way that you can use the piece as a cork and store some hard liquor in there. It'll probably be pretty good. Hmm. That's an idea. Coming from the guy who doesn't drink. Shove a, t shove a tap in there. Well, the trick is, you cut a hole out, like in the cork. Then you pour half of it out and drink that. You pour the rest of it with, like, vodka or gin. That's you what, seal I, it, and that's just what it. I was thinking. Then you just drink that. Yeah. <laughs> Leave it overnight in the fridge. Let it, uh, alcohol soak into the fruit. I was going to say, use it as a fermenter. Yeah. Yep.